Alright, so in this video you can see we have Easy PLC's uh, machine simulator that's actually running and we're going to be programming how to, or actually looking at some logic that runs this conveyor system so that you can understand better how things are working, you know, kind of reading logic and how logic should be, uh, ladder logic should be read inside of a working program. So that way you can easily understand that. So let's go ahead and look at this real quick. Um, what we're going to talk about is, again, this this uh, conveyor system. There's three conveyor systems. I can. What I'm going to do is widen the screen out so you can actually see it. And I'm going to actually come in here and show you the I/O. Now, what I can do is I can actually, and this is using the Easy PLC Machine Simulator. This is an updated version. Again, he's all, um, the person who made this actual software is always updating and making it better. So. Um, I highly advise you know if, if you're looking for a challenge and you're looking to better yourself I mean this is a great software to use if you already have Rockwell software or even Siemens or so whatever the case may be so uh, but you you can cut on the conve conveyor belts right here you can easily see you know the kind of the scope of work and understand you can raise the stops you can see the stops are raising you can create a pallet um, which is creating the actual pallet that will be running down this system now um, just to show you that as soon as the pallet gets to there you should you can actually stop it and then you can go ahead and it'll cut on the last conveyor we can actually go in and drop the first set of stops right we drop the first set of stops it allows it to go into the second part and then we can actually come back up here raise that stop back up we can create a box and then allow the box to exit now allowing the box to exit what we can do is we can drop the second stop and at that point in time we can come over here and start our process back now you can program this a lot easier and simpler um, as far as you know the way things work you can make it faster slower however you want to do it I think the point of actually programming and, and actually going through the process is understanding uh, the scope of work, making it reliable, making sure it works and does the task that it is supposed to or is designed to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop these real quick because again you can manually control this stuff right and then we're going to come in here to our driver and I already have a driver loaded for this actual program because um, I actually I built the program to kind of save us some time so this program is already attached to my actual uh, RS links are uh, yeah my RS links classic it's an OPC topic and that OPC topic right there is going to be this pallet uh, I call it pallet box MS which is machine simulator okay so I'm kind of abbreviating it but what I've done is if you go up here to configure you can easily see that I'm putting my topic name in there I'm coming in putting all my outputs so all my, my outputs inside of my PLC, so if you think about every output that I have in my PLC, I've added that into this OPC topic so it can communicate to the Easy PLC machine simulator. And then my inputs. So I only have two inputs in this case. I only have the two photo eyes, so I basically stop. You know, that's how I put those in. Now, um, if I accept that, I can easily come in here and accept it, right? And you can see that it accepts the actual. Now I can also, if I have everything loaded, what I can do is I can come over here and actually open a driver and you know if I've saved one in the past and load it like that. And then just keep in mind, you're still gonna have to drag and drop your photo eyes or drag and drop your, your tags to meet the point inside or the connection point inside of the, the Easy PLC machine simulator so that you make that conductivity path, right? that's what we're doing right here we're, we're making our OPC topic connections through the actual easy PLC machine simulator software now uh, so we'll go ahead and put our stops in there and then we'll put our conveyor advance conveyor number two advance conveyor number three advance our box creator and then we'll put in our palette creator at this point in time if we have everything set we can go ahead and start the actual we can ex go to the exit button and go to start driver and exit and then we can see this process running now and for the sake of argument if we wanted to start from a bare scratch like bare like from the very beginning right to see how the process actually worked 
we can do the same exact thing come over here and restart this now I'm going to shrink this down to better fit actually let's look at the logic on top of this so as it runs we'll go ahead and get the logic where you can see it a lot better it's really a simple process I want you to kind of understand I'm just cutting on each conveyor the only conveyor I'm controlling off all the time is going to be the center conveyor and the reason I'm turning the center conveyor off is for better control of the pallet the pallet's going to hit the stop right here so it's going to square itself right so at that point in time we they're going to drop a box on it so we want to make sure when it exits it's nice and square and we don't want to be causing any kind of friction so I'm basically turning off that conveyor at that particular time the other two conveyors I'm keeping on all the time because again there's no need to turn those off the pallet creator is actually going to be this back conveyor right here so that's going to be this back conveyor right here that conveyor will only run when the pallet creator is running so that's it's basically creating that pallet so uh, controlling my stops now let's talk about how I'm controlling my stops I have a photo I one which is right here as soon as photo I one is made it's gonna turn that it, it's basically gonna drop that stop right so if, if photo I two is not made right I have like a uh, an and situation right or an or situation right here so an and situation would be if they're together right in series and or situation would be as they are right now in parallel they can actually be, it could be one or the other controlling that actual stop in our case for stop one we have photo i2 if it's made we're going to go ahead and make sure that the, the stop of number one is up we can also make sure that the photo i is not made so if there is no pallet no inside of the second part where the pallet or the box gets put on the pallet if there's no pallet detected there we're going to allow the stop to raise although if there's no in any given time we're going to allow the, the pallet right here to say okay we want to keep that stop raised if there's a pallet there if there's no pallet there then we want standard control to say okay the photo i controls the stop now stop two is a little bit different stop two comes down here to look at uh, basically the uh, photo I number two and as it comes in goes in and looks at, at photo I number two it's saying okay the time it takes to drop the box or the drop the actual put the box on the pallet the time it takes to do that we're saying is five seconds it creates five seconds and says okay it takes five seconds for you to actually create the pallet put it on the box and then allow it to actually transition out so what we're doing is we're actually creating uh, like a release time and what that release time is doing is giving the pallet time to actually exit the whole pro the exit that that center conveyor conveyor number two to exit that process and it's doing that so that that they can control that stop and keep that stop down so that the pallet can completely get out and as you see we can see that right here so the pallet control for the raise number two stop right here it's on right now now as soon as this gets done you can see that this drops out and pallet and the actual stop drops out as well so you can see when every pallet comes in and drops a box you can see that it does control that stop and then allows it to come out now we're not putting that as a, a you know it's only a, basically a half a second timing situation but counter to that we're keeping the making the pallet and we're, we're doing the pallet for five seconds right so it takes five seconds to make the pallet but at the same time it only takes half a second for you to transition the pallet out mainly because of the speed of the conveyors so this is some real simple and easy logic to actually look for and, and uh, you know look at how it's controlled again this can be done many many different ways I took about five or ten minutes to actually program this um, to actually show you you know just one implementation again the the, the code the I guess the most important thing about programming is going to be that you understand the scope of work you're able to make it reliable make sure it does that scope of work continuously with no problem that's reliable and then make sure it's easy to read for the actual person coming behind you so that they can troubleshoot it if there is a problem I'll 
you know, because we all know that photo eyes fail. We all know that conveyors break. We all know that things trip out. So it's understandable that the program should be easy to read so that somebody behind you can easily come by and, and, and read the program. So with all that said, this is the, the again, this is using Machine Simulator. This is using uh, RS Logix 5000 version 34, I believe. And again, tied into a OPC topic, which is going to be um, through RS Links. And then that's RS Links Classic or RS Links OEM. You cannot do this through uh, RS Links Lite. So to keep in mind, OPC topics do not work with RS Links uh, Lite. So just keep in mind, you have to have the, the licensed version of it. So with that said, hopefully you learned a lot from this video and we'll see you guys on the next one.